Hey gang, Scott here. Quick tip for you about compositing landscape photos that you've captured handheld. Yes, this is doable, and there are sometimes reasons you need to capture handheld. You've seen me do other videos about cityscapes or seascapes where you've captured on a tripod and then you can blend together different elements of the frame. And that's um, somewhat a little more relaxed. You can watch a scene and wait for certain things to happen in certain parts and capturing those individually, knowing that your tripod is stable. Uh, but there there are other times where conditions are changing quickly and I had this case where I didn't have time to set up my tripod because uh, there was this particular mist that was blowing between uh, these these two rock faces uh, in the uh, in the ocean here and let me show you the photos where if we compare these two you can see like this this mist over here this was just moving around all in between these hills and it was it was quickly dissipating as the sun was coming up and so I wanted to capture that and didn't have time to set up my tripod and what ended up happening when I reviewing the photos that I did capture you know, I, I like the action of the ocean in the foreground here and I like this mist going on here uh, and you can tell that these are slightly differently framed, right? I was shooting handheld, you know, on the, the right-hand side. You can see in the lower left, there's this uh, this little sprig of tree coming out. There's a little bit more of it here, the opposite happening with uh, with this bit of tree branch there. And I'm sure that if we got in close, you know, where the, the rock ridge is, that's going to be in a different location. Did my best to capture with you know as staying as still as possible that helps when you're getting into the blending which we're about to jump into here uh, but this is close enough you know lighting is reasonably well uh, you know, uniform across the two photos and so I can bring in you know the ocean that I like here with the mist that I like there and so how I'll do this is uh, you know I'll, I'll go into Photoshop for this one so we'll just edit these as layers in Photoshop. That's kind of the key thing. You have a different layering package. You bring it into your layering package. Chances are it has an align layers feature. That's the key thing you're going to use to put these two images together. So uh, let's, uh, let's walk through that here in Photoshop. And here they are, the two photos, each on their own layer. And so this top layer, this has the ocean that I want. And, and most of the rest of the photo is fine. I mean, this, this has almost everything I want. It's just missing that bit of mist. If I make that invisible, we see that mist that I'm really interested in. Nice lighting on these rocks here, right? Be, you know, the, the top one, the lighting on the rocks is about the same, but that mist is just, uh, this, it's just much more pleasing in this bottom layer. But you also notice the shift, right? The shift kind of like from the top to the bottom, the scene tends to move to the right a little bit. So my body shifted, my hand shifted, you know, I cannot hold myself perfectly still for, you know, 60, 90 seconds. It's just not going to happen. So um, let's, let's get a little sanity here. So we have the ocean in this layer we like, and then we have the mist in this layer. And the very first thing I need to do is select both layers and align them. That's just need to have to, to, to normalize the image with both layers selected. Edit auto align. I'll choose auto. Auto tends to do a very good job straight out and it's already done. Uh, so if I do that same toggle again and I'm paying attention to like really this this prominent ridge line here before and after that looks really good. That looks really good. Um, and paying attention now to you see the edges when I turn off the ocean. There's this large border at the uh, the right edge where there's no pixels. We turn it back on and we see some weird overlap over here on the left. If I turn off the mist layer, that's where that gap is. You can see how Photoshop has not only moved the images around, but done a little bit of um, interesting you know, scaling and, and warping here because this is not just a shift of the photo to the right or left. You know, The borders of everything are just different. There's been rotations. There's, there's been a lot of work that Photoshop did to get these things to align. That does mean some cropping in our future to tighten things up, which is fine. Uh, but really the last bit here is to get the blending done, right? That's the that's where we're going to bring in the mist here from uh, from this uh, this uh, other photo here on the bottom. And what I'm looking at right now is as I toggle this off and on, you know, which of the two has most of what I want. And it feels to me that this mist layer has most of what I want. I like that the, there's a little less haze in the foreground, 
the lighting here, obviously the mist. And when I turn on the ocean layer, now this gets a little bit chalkier, a little more mist had blown through and kind of a larger swath. This is a little chalkier. I just want this ocean bit. So how will I tackle that? Just the ocean layer selected, have a mask for it, invert the mask. Uh, I like to use the, the bottom layer has most of what I want. So now we're just seeing the mist and then I will paint in the, the pieces that I really want here. And so with the brush active, let's switch my mask mode to paint in. And what have I got? Normal opacity, good amount of feather on the brush. And then I'll just kind of paint through to bring in, you know, the, the ocean part that I found most interesting from the previous photo. And as I get over into this area, you know, we see the real big difference, right? We see that, that ocean brushing in there. And, you know, as I did that, I'm going to undo that whole thing, brush stroke by brush stroke, because these little fingers down here are kind of interesting. So what if I were to kind of take this part, and this is where more of the, you know, the, 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 the fun is you get to kind of just pick and choose. Where do you want to have that, that mask end? And you know, that feels pretty nice. We're keeping some of those fingers there. Let's switch our mask mode over and maybe dial it back a little bit there so it's a better blend. You know, this is where you get into a little bit of your, you know, your, your artistic flair. What do you want to have? What do you don't want to have? And that's all looking good. You know, uh, so that's really what I wanted to cover in the video here. So we, we ended up taking in a little bit of the ocean, adding it into this photo, but from two handheld images. You can do blending like this. I'm going to continue, of course, crop this in, add some more style to it. Uh, you know, I, I have access to all my filters at this point, you know, through, through Photoshop, whether I'm going into effects or into Luminar or whatever I want to do to finally craft this image. But uh, I think I'll stop the video here about the technique of aligning the layers, blending them, and doing a little bit of light masking. And you can do it with handheld photos. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport.